Welcome to Math 142 for uh, for summer of 22. My name is Chuck Devanji. I'm your instructor for this course, and uh, I've been adjunct faculty here at Whatcom for over 20 years. Uh, my day job, my other job, is I teach in the Bellham School District as well, and I've been I've been doing that for about the same amount of time. And now always teaching, always teaching math. Um, so I wanted to take a quick little bit of time and just uh, help familiarize you with WAMAP talk about the course a little bit uh, and let you start digging in. So you log in, I have this as in student view. My, my view looks a little different. Um, and this is where we are at. Uh, I always try to have at least two weeks out. I try to make you make it so you can see ahead of time in case you want to work ahead, uh, which I strongly encourage you to do. It's nice to have that, that bank uh, just if something goes strange. Uh, so in announcements, this will pop up uh, just at least once a week there'll be an announcement here. You've probably already seen this again because you are taking a look at where we are at. Um, this is structured by these weeks. I'm going to switch to instruction mode real quick. And you can see that have all of the weeks uh, laid out for us. And so when you look at a week, it will say the, the things that I want you to do. So each of these are a chapter out of the book, um, 6-1, 6-2. And if you open that up, uh, you'll see in it that I have a lecture, which is much like this, me talking at you. Uh, watch the lecture for sure. Uh, take a look at the homework out of the book. I don't grade this homework, but these are good problems that are good practice. I have some additional videos if, if my explanation wasn't sufficient or if you wanted to hear something from someone else. And I have that for each of these. So week one, these are all of the units that I want us, I'm sorry, the sections or chapters that I want us to cover. Um, and get that practice in. Each week also we'll have quizzes and forums. I'll expand this out. Week one forum, uh, this will be like a prompt that asks you uh, to respond to something. Uh, please answer the prompt, like what it's asking, and please make sure it's your own words. Don't just Google stuff and copy it because that's really easy for me to find. Um, also, there'll be a practice quiz and often a timed quiz as well. I'll talk about those shortly. Um, boom, boom, let's look at resources right now. So a couple things in resources, uh, particularly the syllabus and the calendar. So I'm gonna open up the syllabus and you can you can read the syllabus. So I wanna point out a few things in here. Um, oh yeah, my, my email that's on here is my email for Wacom. Um, and that's an okay way to get a hold of me. I really prefer it if you just send me a message through WAMAP and I'll talk about messaging in WAMAP here shortly. Uh, textbook, all this, midterm and final here are the dates for them, Tuesday, July 19th, Wednesday, August 17th, and they will both be online. Um, and I'll talk about those again in a minute, how numbers turn into letters for grades. Okay, so a couple things I want to point out for sure that, that you know. Uh, the class ends at the final. The final is, is final for this course. So all work must be submitted uh, by 11.59 p.m. the day before the final. Um, so um, no submissions of any kind will be accepted after that hard deadline. That's the end of the class. You do get what are called late passes. Late passes allow you to turn in things late. I give you, I give everyone six, you know, life. Um, and so you can use them, but they, they, will, they will expire 11.59 the night before the final. Um, also, uh, please, please, please pay attention to the calendar. Um, just missing the midterm and final and just saying, oh, I forgot about it. Um, it, I mean... It just please don't do it. Don't put yourself in that situation. Um, this is the way grades are going to come out from each of the categories. I'll talk about what the categories uh, mean as well. Midterm and final, those are pretty straightforward. Um, the Both the midterm and the final, 65% of your grade altogether, um, they, on those two dates, July 19th, August 17th, at 8 a.m., it'll be open. So at 8 a.m. on July 19th, the, final, the midterm opens up, and you have two hours to uh to take it and that's that's two hours of a continuous sitting so you, you're not allowed to pause it um once you click start clock starts running until two hours are out um and that 10 p.m is a hard deadline and what i mean by that is um like if you if someone were to start the test at 9 p.m the test still closes at 10 p.m even though you're supposed to have two hours to complete it so at 10 boom it's it's done so make sure you know if you want your two hours you start at least by 8 p.m on those dates 
Next category, practice quizzes and forums. Uh, practice quizzes are uh, basically just quizzes on what we've done up to where that practice quiz is. And uh, you get four tries on every question on it. And uh, this, th these are not, the practice quizzes are not timed. So you can, you can work on it as long as it takes. Uh, they should be completed by 11.59 p.m. on the due date. So I guess they do have a hard ending. But once you hit start, you can work until um, 11.59 on the due date for them. Um, boo, boo, boo. Forums will be questions that I send you a prompt. I talked a little bit about that. Answer the prompt. Make sure you reply to someone else's uh, answer to the prompt as well. Now, if you've been doing the practice quizzes, you will find that the timed quizzes are really straightforward. Uh, the practice quizzes are our true practice for the timed quizzes. Time quizzes are timed. You have two hours. You get uh, three attempts on every problem on a timed quiz. Um, and again, as soon as you click on it, it's going to start. So the, you can't pause the time on it. And again, they have to be done by 11.59 on their due date. Along those lines, on any of these, if you ever feel that you've been shortchanged on a question, you're like, I know it was pi over three or something like that. Uh, just feel free to send me an email uh, message through WAMAP and let me know and I'll check it. I mean, this, you know, the auto grader isn't perfect. So if things get missed. I'm happy to look at things. I do look over every quiz as well um, and I'll put uh, comments on it. And so make sure that you're letting me know if you feel like you were uh, you didn't get the points that you earned. I'm happy to take a look at it and I'm happy to fix it if that's the case. All right, so there is all those pieces. Boop, boop, boop. Not sure. A bunch of other stuff. Um, I worked really hard to answer uh, questions that students have uh, if you message me. Um, I, I try to reply within a day. Um, that's really important to me. And so please, please, please send me questions. Um, I'm happy to do it. I will sometimes take people's questions and, and post them in a forum because I want people to uh, to see good questions and answers to them. The other resource that I'd like to point out that we have, this is back in the resources section, is the printable calendar. So this class is completely laid out. And this is called the printable calendar. I strongly, 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 strongly recommend that you print it um, and have it out because it shows you where everything happens, where everything's due, um, you never miss a due date again. So anything that's italicized is something that you that is due, something that you have to do that that's worth points. The 6.1, 6.2, these are the days I suggest you do those those uh, chapters on. Um, messages like college closed. So you can see right here too that I've tried to put some as much regularity into the course as I can. Um, so mostly Tuesday time quizzes will be due and your forum response to the week before will be due. Typically on Fridays, the practice quiz will be due and the forum for that week will be due. Um, there's a couple of little shift switches, just pay attention to them, but for the most part, Tuesday and Friday are the days that those are due. As you can tell this first week, it's a little bit different, but you know, we do what we can. Anyways, again, print this out and refer to it because uh, then you'll know when everything's due and you won't miss any deadlines. Um, 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 um boy, that's about, that's about it. Um, one thing about messaging in WAMAP, I, I, one of the reasons I like using WAMAP is if I want to send a new message here, I can send it to somebody, um, you know, blah, 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 but I can type, you know, Hey, thank you for do, 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 do. But what's great is you can type math in here. So, um, there's this add new math. So if I type, if I click on that um, and maybe say six plus x squared divided by five, and then get out of that editor, it does this. It's it's so slick and it's so easy to talk about math uh, back and forth with that sort of setting. And if you look down in resources, typing math symbols in WAMAP, this whole section right here talks about ways you can type real common things um, using that editor. It's great. It's a great, 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 great tool. Um, okay, so on that note, please message me with any questions that you have at any time. I will try my best to get back within a day. 
Uh, if I don't get back within one day, uh, it will be two days, but I, I do my best. Um, and I'm really looking forward to, to working with y'all. My job is to make sure you know what you need to know in order to pass this course. And I, I take it seriously and I'm, I'm happy to work with you. If you find you're, you're really struggling with something, you've been putting in some work and you want to do a Zoom meeting, let me know. I'll invite anybody who wants to come and we can talk about math as well. All right. I'm looking forward to, to working with y'all. Thank you.